before seeing the tables that we are going to show you important two verses in the center of this table which explains what you are going to see so the first one very famous verse about Gog and Magog according to the Sifri in a very old book and he says the following he says that the verse that we just now will read to you is Gog and Magog when you are at war in your land against an aggressor who attacks you you shall sound short blast he's a shepherd yeah, on the trumpets that you may be remembered before your God and be delivered from your enemies. So definitely it's in trumpets, but the idea is definitely that the custom is that when really very serious troubles befall Jews, they blow the shofar. But what is interesting that the Sifri, Sifri is very old, uh, Medrash, I mean, more really than a Medrash, but even before. And this is what he says. And the indications are what is written when you are at war in your land against an aggressor. Interesting that we speak about a war which breaks out in Israel. Well, the expression is at war in your land, right? Who attacks you exactly what was in the recent massacre, unfortunately, of the Hamas. Yeah, what they did to Jews, killing young and old, frightening those who saw the <laughs> picture of what was happening, the frightening families, parents, babies were murdered brutally, is fighting like a version wild beast, Nazis more well. So, this is what the verse says, and it indicates to a war of Gog and Magog. And as I said, that some commentators really say now that what happens with Gog and Magog? Gog and Magog is not certainly in <laughs> a certain nation all the time, you know, because it's from generation, it is written down there. He said, it means, end upon the throne of God, will be at war with Amalek throughout the ages, in the 17th. So it can be a war, also a spiritual war. It's frightening that the Kippanese Zohar says that Jews also can be under the definition of Amalek. Those who are fighting against the Torah and Shabbos, this is a fighting against God. <laughs> Gog and Magog is fighting against God, so it's both physically and spiritually. Physically, it's against the Jewish nation, the nation of God, you know, but spiritual also. And every generation, God can be different, yeah? Like, Sancherib could be God. And, in fact, Bilam and Balak, both of them, the two letters, the last letters of those are Amalek, also Amalek, those want to wipe out Israel, to destroy Israel, are basic Amalek. The, the word Amalek means Amalek, a nation born to lick the Jewish blood. Amalek who is Amalek, Malok, I like to look the chops the head of this, what Darsha is doing, but this cruelty, as we saw, happening in Israel, you know, exactly after Rosh Hashanah Rabbah, in Chastor, at the time, after a contract of the time of Gog and Magog, it's not. So, exactly. So those two verses you will see in the center of these tables, clearly indicating <laughs> to war, yeah, and then to the Hamas and the Malek. Also important to point out that the Torah codes is not only science, you know, science, but interesting. <laughs> I think the professor, Harold um, Gantz, told me that all the, I don't know if all of them, but the tables of Rabbi Weissmann, which are the most important one, 
are not like scientific, even though they may be uh, scientific, because the most of important of course is to teach us to learn. This is what called the house, yeah? Yeah? From the time of Rab. Bechayim. That was the importance of the Torah. That was, should have some this, yeah, not split one word, one word here. Should have a lot of words are related, connected, yeah, and the location of the Torah fits also, yeah? To put one word, one word, definitely is not, uh, therefore, courts work only the Torah, but you have to know the most important is the verse, the location, and let's see that all of them are connected. This is the most important message in court. Scientifically, statistically, many, not all of them go, but some of them, yes, in there, no doubt. So let us see what are those tables that we are going to see teaching us what is the message though. So let us start with this table. So this table, I look for, it's important to say, there are Kabbalists who are watching my tables. Even I don't know them, but I know there are Kabbalists. And they tell me, you must know, tables that indicate to situation in Israel, war, and so on, you will always find their connection to Purim, Esther, Mordechai. Why? So they tell me why. Because the Talmud says, Sanhedrin 97, that, the end of the days, yeah, if Jews would not do repentance willingly, yeah, willingly is difficult to keep the Shabbos, uh, purity of life, men and women, and, uh, okay, so this was the Talmud says, 97, God will appoint very cruel leader, like Haman in Iran, who uh, made the Christ killing Tough and Hashim Biyom Echad, babies and women, men, in one day. And, you know, Jews will have to repent, like it happened in Purim. And Esther and Mordechai both told the Jews, look, the Holocaust is going to, have to befall you. You must pray, repent, yeah, because you did not keep the Torah and on. And, then you will be saved, and Purim will come. This was the deed, three days of fasting and praying, and this is, no, this was in Purim. But in Germany, huh? yeah, making fun of the assimilation, reform, all this, said, ah, but, uh, Germany, yeah, well, what the reform said, the Berlin is Jerusalem now, yeah, they took away from the Sidurim, Jerusalem, yeah, is in Jerusalem, no, not to return, no. Germany, Berlin, good enough, yeah, it is known, it is a fact, you can see in the history of reform. So, this was happened, unfortunately, all of us, six million. We wrote a book really, with, Dr. with Professor Aralik in Hebrew and English. The Holocaust in Bible code, and you see that we brought lots of Midrashim, lots of stories, real stories, which happened in the Holocaust. And the rabbi said clearly, you reform certain new doctrines. So Gabriel's Gematia Aman will come also with certain new. Okay, it's a, a book which, and also there is a same kind of book about the Holocaust. We just don't bring quotes, but <laughs> bring a lot of material. This is Rabbi Schwarz, Rabbi Schwarz, who passed away recently. He's a singer by Goldstein, if I'm not mistaken, but also bring a lot of material, what Rabbi said, but no, this is so. Hoping that now they will uh, relate to it more seriously. So, so this is what the Kabbalists told me, and this is what I'm doing, so. <laughs> Sometimes I am said, but to find Purim and Esther and Mordechai, these <laughs> exactly the, what you have here is really good meeting of the 
Вол из Хамас, да, Малакати, а, окей. Все, а вот супа, сейчас на туси, а пурим камси в истории, я так мара сейс, и вы видите, как пурим, я, аман, вы ебь туда аманаи, аман оф тудай, но тип, я не знаю, бух, вот сын, нейм, камин, инглиш, а не ибро, рашен, все, неймс, We are given by God to teach us with whom we are dealing. Haman said Rabbi Zekluya, Mem Nun are very, very harsh judgment. No. So, men, so what you see, so the first thing you see meeting of with Im Hamas, Amir Hamas, with Hamas, a war with Amalek, you can see them. In black, yeah. This is what the verse I showed you. That war is God with the Amalekite, and this is exactly the verse. And then, important, definitely. Some say it's Magog, so Magog comes here. But the most interesting is that those verses do with Esther and Queen Esther. Very interesting. You have your Queen Esther. Esther. I think it's minimal in the Torah. It means skip, maybe it's a, that's what I would hear, but the skip of Esther, minimal. And next thing, which is best meeting, which is also important thing in Bible called Queen Esther comes here. Marka is there. Not if I have courage, the Cyrus, who different a lot at that time. Yeah. His interest in Mordechai. That does not appear as Mordechai, but the rabbis tell us that Mordechai had another name, Ptachia. Ptachia means like opening to, to God, yeah? It means this is bringing people to Tshuva, open your mind and heart to Tshuva. Interesting. So Ptachia come here. And definitely the most important is if you do Tshuva, repentance, yeah? <laughs> this is the purpose of troubles. And If you do repentance, if you are, with repentance, the Rambam said, with repentance, Israel will not be redeemed and let's repent. So with repentance, we have Messiah, we have Messiah and Elijah, Elijah, we can be here together. Yeah. But meantime, we have the evil forces with the Samael, the evil Satan, yeah, I mean, the evil angel of the Samet, of the... Amalek. In fact, Samael means he's able to blind God. It means our forces against God don't know God to interfere in the world. This is why they left this and Samael. Samael and Samuel are going to be out of Samael. Yeah, and then you have the female, which is in Lilith, which is in charge of Lass, you know, the angel to do with Ishmael. They need a lot of wives because this is the power of Lass. Yeah. In fact, in the Sfadi Sidurim, you can see in the Shemunas, the Amida, which is three times a day. So we have there, and written there, those two names, Lilith and Samael. When we ask God, remove from Egoni, Yagon, Egoni, and Sai, and Anacha, and Tresi. So what more we have? We have a Palestine, because, you know, <laughs> those Palestinians, in fact, according to Commentators basically are the souls are still come from the Philistine, and you can see this was the Rabbi said because they are very much attracted to Gaza, which was the main place in the story of the judges, you know, the story with Samson and so on. You have here also, and you have your Messiah again, I said a few times because Messiah son of. Joseph, son of Jesse, yeah. So, and Purim appears, it's very interesting. Purim, you know, comes Purim red. Purim, what, a uh, few letters, not so <laughs> easy to find Purim, yeah. And interesting, I said, Purim, Queen Esther, and Iran, <laughs> the trouble matter of Today, with Hamani, Aman, Amanai, yeah. And repentance is a purpose because only with 
repentance will have redemption. Messiah. The Messiah he wants, maybe son of Joseph, Messiah again. Messiah. So, interesting table. As I said, don't check statistics, but this table tells us many most important messages you must know. Yeah, there's a revolt with Amalekites, and the Amalekites are those who to uproot, eradicate Jews from the world, which is Hamas, and they are working with evil forces, which is the result of sinning. Our Rebbe tell us, every sin our Rebbe tell us create a, a terrorist, Mechabel, yeah, frightening. Then you have definitely Joseph, who will prepare the way, yeah, Joseph will come to prepare the way. But the main idea is to do tshuva like in the time of Purim, when uh, Jews listen to Queen Esther, to Zachia. This is why you want Purim. And the world today, maybe can, but some say that you are really in a situation of Magog, this terrible fighting. So interesting and significant, very important table for our days.